This video supported in part by... It's just a VR YouTube channel. Hey there, welcome back to Gen X Grown Up. I am John, I am a Gen X Grown Up. Thank you for clicking on the thumbnail to check out this video. We're talking again today about Mappy. I mentioned when I reviewed the My Arcade Micro Player of Mappy that while I always enjoyed and appreciated Mappy, it was never a go-to game for me, but when I went to once I played all of my favorites. Well, lately Mappy has been showing up again and again. Every time there's a Namco compilation or a new Namco series comes out, Mappy is one of those titles that is not headlined, but included on the roster. And the more it shows up, the more I play it, and the more I realize it's a really great, well-balanced, fun, and colorful game. Now, not long ago, I received the Super Impulse Tiny Arcade version of Mappy. And they're even widely available still. You can look on Amazon for under 15 bucks. You can still get it. I'll throw a link down in the description of this video where you can go pick one up if you like. But even though I had it, I'd never spent much time with it. So cheap doesn't always mean a good value. It depends on how the game plays. And I'm not the only one who would like to take a closer look at this, Mappy. Viewers like Crackers, HH, and Tetris Boy all wrote in the comments saying, John, please take a look at the Super Impulse Mappy. All right, here it is, here I am, and here we go. Don't you know that you're a grown up? No games, no puns. Not a lot if you're a grown up. Here's our little Mappy still in its box. Just as colorful as you'd expect Mappy to be, with the bold logo across the top. There's nothing out of the ordinary in this tiny arcade. There's that laughable keychain on the back, uh, which we'll take off in a second. But yeah, let's get it open and take a closer look at the cabinet. Inside, we've got the toy that we're here for and some instructions and a catalog, neither of which we need. And then we turn our attention to the star of the show, our little Mappy cabinet. Very much like the other tiny arcades you've seen from Super Impulse. The same mold all the way back to Pac-Man. Uh, very vibrant artwork. You can see a very glossy kind of decal on the side there. Really pretty. And the colors just pop, which I like. Around back, you have that keychain attached, which that's got to go. Let's take care of that now. All right, that's gone. On the back, you also have this battery door and a power on-off switch down here at the bottom. Around front, we have this very colorful marquee, which like the other tiny arcades does turn on, is backlit when you turn the device on. Still no bezel artwork of any kind, but down below on the knee board, we do have this kind of recent change they've made where they replace the generic sticker with a sticker that kind of simulates a coin insert door along with some artwork. And one more quick look at that side Side art. They work so hard to maximize this side art that the word Mappy doesn't even fit entirely across this top portion here. And then of course we have this control deck, nothing to write home about here. It's that same little nub joystick with a four-way restrictor plate molded right into the plastic and two buttons. Well now let's get it powered on and see how it plays. Hey Mappy! 2020. Alright, so it's modified, which I mean we know for these. Oh, a high score table! Does that mean I'm gonna be able to save high scores? Alright, we're gonna have to check that out. Well, the demo sounds pretty right. All right, let's give it a start. Uh, this button. Now onto the story. All right. You know, for a custom version of Mappy, this is all right. The music is all there. One thing I will say of note is that you kind of have to anticipate your movements just a bit. Seems like maybe there's a tiny bit of latency in the controls. I feel like I have to anticipate my moves just a little more than I would playing any other version of the game. It's not a big deal, and it's not a deal breaker at all. In fact, I'm pretty much already used to it, I think. You just have to be very deliberate about the moves that you make. And if you do, Mappy's going to do exactly what you tell him to do. I should be a bonus level now. Yeah, all right, let's see how the bonus level does. Oh my goodness, that bonus level is crazy fast. What is happening? <laughs> Look how fast he's bouncing. Ugh. Okay, the bonus level has a little pacing issue. Normally I can finish that in its entirety, but no dice here. <laughs> But I don't notice any of those problems in the game proper, just in the bonus round. That's a little disappointing. There's a radio. Got it. I see you, cat, hiding behind that door. Cut it out. And on to round six. Yeah, all right, let's kill off Mappy, and let's check that high score before we kind of wrap it up here. All right, let's get our score in there. GXG. 
with a high score of, uh, what is that, 16, 18,000? 18,000. Okay, now, does that high score persist? Let's power it off and back on. Come on, high score. Come on, high score. Come on, high score. Come on, high score. Yes, look at that. It does persist the high score. That is a great thing to have. Okay, I think we have a clear picture of what's going on with this mappy. When these were first being released, I honestly had no interest in collecting these tiny arcade versions of these cabinets. Just at a glance, I figured they couldn't possibly be worth playing. They must be just gimmicks. I mean, they have a keychain on them, for heaven's sake. How serious could they be? But I was wrong. More and more, when I start picking these up and looking at them with a critical eye, it's way better than even it deserves to be. They're actually in the running with these other competitors that are putting out slightly bigger machines. In the case of Mappy, what we have here is a really decent custom version of the game. It has its shortcomings. The fact there's a little bit of controller latency you'll notice, you'll pick up on that pretty quickly when you get your hands on it. You can adapt for it, but sometimes you'll forget and you'll miss entering some of those floors when you try to come off of that springboard. Also, the bonus level, you saw it, it's absolutely not consistent. Sometimes you're bouncing really, really fast. It's hard to make those little jumps between those small gaps in the walls. It ended up that what I normally get a perfect on those bonus levels, I think maybe I made it through four or five balloons. Now, all that being said, it doesn't add up to this mappy being junk. It looks fantastic. It actually plays reasonably well with those limitations. And then you have the bonus that it does indeed save your high scores. Thank you. Every one of these little tiny arcades needs to have a battery in it and save my high scores. The whole point of old arcade games was the high score. Why do you think we're keeping score in the first place? And this one does save your high scores. And so for this Super Impulse tiny arcade version of Mappy, I'm going to award this three and a half tokens out of five. It could be much higher if they had handled those timing issues and the latency and the controls. But all that being said, for 15 bucks or so, not a bad purchase. And if you're a fan of Mappy, you should absolutely add this to your collection. Not perfect, but very playable to have that tiny version that you can sit right next to your keyboard. What a great way to pass some time during some of those long, boring conference calls when you're working from home. Hey, I really hope you found something to enjoy in this video, and I will talk to you next time. Bye-bye. Hey, you made it to the end. If you liked this video, the best way to say thanks is to watch one more. Here are a couple suggestions that you just might enjoy. And if you love our content, maybe consider becoming a Patreon supporter by following the link on screen. Unacceptable for grown-ups. Your dinner cannot just be french fries.